morning guys, or good afternoon I guess, because it's 2 o'clock. I feel like my mornings have now officially moved to the afternoon, because I always spend the entire morning and then the early part of the afternoon editing the previous day's vlog and like, you know, doing all my like, morning chores, like, you know, emptying the dishwasher, making the bed, and yada yada, all that stuff. So yeah, good morning at 2 p.m. <laughs> but like I said, I just finished kind of doing my all my morning stuff, and I just moved up to my office. Melissa and I don't have any huge plans for the day. I think we might try and make it up to Costco today, since we didn't do that yesterday. And I know she's going out with um, a bunch of guy friends tonight, so that'll just be me at home, and so I'll be able to kind of get some stuff done. I'm not quite sure what project I want to work on when she's gone. Maybe while we're out today, we can stop at Michael's and get some scrapbook paper to do, like, liners for the envelopes, and then I can start, like, cutting that and putting those, you know, together. That's a possibility, but we shall see. Oh, maybe I'll paint my nails, because I got new nail polish remover, and I did want to paint when I was, like, kind of... Um, going through all my nail polishes the other day, I found like a nice kind of uh, maroony red type of polish that I honestly don't think I've ever used. I'm normally not a very like a dark red nail polish kind of girl, but like for some reason I'm just feeling it with this fall. And so I might try and take this off because it's, you know, like really chipped now and paint my nails with that color. That, that might be what I do tonight. But now I think I'm going to head down and see if Melissa wants to have some lunch. I already have some laundry in the wash and the dryer, and so I'll have a bunch of that to fold later. Let me know if you guys like seeing those, like, laundry folding montages. I don't know. I really like... It kind of, like, motivates me to, like, get the laundry done because I'm like, okay, well then I can have, like, a fun little scene for the vlog. And so it's kind of, like, motivation for me to get my stuff done. And I know I like watching, like other people's channels when they're like doing like cleaning or like you know folding laundry and stuff like that. I like seeing those things so I don't know if am I just weird or like do you guys actually like seeing that too? So let me know because I'm really curious should I keep doing them or are they like completely dumb and boring? Let me know. <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna head down and have some lunch now. This is what Dakota does on the weekends when we make lunch or do anything in the kitchen. She comes down and she lays on the top of this first set of steps. And she pouts, because we've interrupted her nap. Isn't that right? Oh, you're so sleepy. You have such a hard life. Don't look at her. Are you wagging your tail? Just a little bit? Just a little wag? Tiny little, tiny little bit? No? Too hard? How about for a treat? Will you wag your tail for a treat? For a treat? Yeah. Okay. Come on. You getting the nummies? Sit. Sit. Ignore my messy office. Hmm. <laughs> what should we pick? We have these guys. We need to like bacon, egg, and cheese. Sort through that drawer. Or, I think these are duck. We'll go duck. What do you think? You want to go duck? Sit down. Sit. Dance. Do, do, do. Sit. Down. Is that so good? Good, I'm glad. You want a lucky copy? Yeah. For a second, I thought it wasn't recording. I was like, oh, lucky you. I'm going to have to record this again. You'll have to get another one. But it was. Clearly. Or I wouldn't be saying this and you hearing it. <laughs> Hi. Are you making lunch? Yes. You're so funny. Why? Because I can't, I can't get you to make dinner. But you'll stand here and you'll do this for your lunches every day. What do you mean? But dinner you have to, like, cook and I can't cook. This is true. <laughs> I make much better food. She does. She's a good cook. We get yummy foods. <laughs> well, that just that jumped off the microwave. My frozen English muffin. <laughs> we have a ghost. Ooh. So we are going to start getting ready to go to Costco, and that means I need to jump in the shower. But I thought it would be fun to put our new shower curtain liner on first, since we hadn't put it up yet. And so I can be the first to christen our new... <laughs> Shower curtain liner. I don't know why we're so excited about this, but like, because we really are. Plastic. Yeah. And our our old one was getting like really old and yucky and gross. Yeah. 
I like would spray it with like cleaner and like try and wipe it off. Yeah, and there's just only so much you can do sometimes. I want a house. I know, me too. So this thing I'm living in an apartment. Hopefully soon. Ooh, it yeah, feels nice. The thing. I know, it's gross. Weird. Check it out. It's not gross. Garage it's thing. like. I know, but. Grease. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, did you feel it? No, I feel, feel it. Yes. It's like. Alright, let's see here. I'm assuming that. Yeah, the tag goes on the side of the curtain. Is that going to be big enough? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it has a weighted bottom. I'm on it. What are you doing? <laughs> do you want to do it? No. Do you? Here, you do it. Okay. <laughs> you want to do it? No. Okay. Are you tall enough? Yes. You're not going in. Don't worry. <laughs> Our dog has a bathroom phobia. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get this nice new shower curtain all freaking black. Oh, it's just the shower curtain. I know. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure it's weighted. Like, what's on the bottom? Oh, I guess there is like a, there is like a, like something sewn into the bottom hem. I guess that's what they're talking about for the weighted. So hopefully that keeps it from flying up. Cause that drives me absolutely crazy when you're showering and the shower curtain like flies into your leg. I hate that. All right. All right, so the final verdict on the shower curtain is it's phenomenal. The weighted hem definitely does its job and it didn't budge like the entire time, even better. I've had shower curtains with like magnets on the bottom. I've had them with like suction cups on the side to hold it down. And honestly, none of them worked as well as the weighted bottom of the linen one that we just got. And so I'm super happy about that. And I also felt just a little bit luxurious showering with a linen shower curtain, not gonna lie. So yeah, and it was only $12, which is awesome. So if you get weirdly excited about shower curtains like Melissa and I, I would definitely recommend checking them out. All right guys, so we are at Costco now. I'm waiting in the car while Melissa runs into like their auto place. She bought a car battery from them the last time we were here. And apparently if you return your old car battery, they give you, I think like $15 back or something like that. So she's running in there and trying to figure that out right now. And then we are gonna go into Costco. <laughs> So we stopped at Whole Foods because what else would we do while we were out running errands on the weekend? Um, I'm actually just waiting in the car while Melissa runs in real quick and just gets the stuff we need. We only need a couple of things like, you know, milk and half and half and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to show you the blanket. Basically, the only reason we went to Costco besides Melissa's battery. But this is the blanket I got. It's this really pretty, like sort of cream but mostly white like really soft minky blanket and I just absolutely love it this was the one I, w I wanted to get this originally but ended up getting the blue one because I like talked myself out of getting the white one because I mean we have a black furry dog and so like it's pretty much guaranteed to turn black but like I don't know I just really wanted it and they were only like 10 bucks and so we just decided to go back and get the second one and now Melissa and I can both have like our own blanket while we're sitting on the couch at night and you know it's starting to get cold because it's winter and yeah I don't know basically yeah but yeah I'm super excited we got it it's so oh it's so so soft I wish you guys could feel it so it's a bit later it's like almost dinner time and we are back home uh Melissa played her video game for a while and I was upstairs basically just watching Gossip Girl and I took my nail polish off I might try and paint them later but I might I'll probably just honestly wait till tomorrow and yep now Melissa's making dinner where are you having beef stew too and she's making fun of me <laughs> Are you having beef stew? Stop! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're both having beef stew. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, see ya. Not funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Not funny. Ow, ow. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, Melissa's not going out tonight because their boys' night got rescheduled. So, I get her for the rest of the night. <laughs> and I think we're going to watch four and five? Mm -hmm. Four and saw, four and five. Is that it? How many are there? I don't know. I, don't I told you to look it up. You didn't. Did you? Yep. That's true. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we finished the fourth movie. Fourth movie, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, fourth Saw movie, and we are about to start the fifth one. Melissa is making us some popcorn right now, and we're, no, just me. I'm actually working on my bullet journal, like, while we're watching the movies, and so I'm hopefully going to be putting in an October memories page here, and then, like, a um, October in review page to kind of, like, assess what I liked and didn't like about what I did in October so I can like change it for November and then I can start setting up November and I thought I'd give you guys like a little peek at what my first week in my bullet journal ended up looking like so here's it all kind of finished there's a few things I still have to like fill in and I also like I never did the weather forecast I just like kind of scrapped it for the week and decided I didn't really care um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. There's, there's definitely, or turned out, there's definitely a couple of things that I will change for my next week, like weekly page. But for the most part, I'm really happy. I liked kind of like the mix of stamps and just plain, you know, pen. I like the tiny little touches of color. And yeah, overall, I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I am definitely still loving using my bullet journal. And I also really like having like a kind of fun little like crafty thing to do that's kind of mindless, but kind of also like, you know, just something to do when we sit down and watch TV. It's, it's really like, it's a nice thing for that. So yeah, that's kind of an update on my bullet journal. And I'm gonna get back to our movie night. All right, so we just finished the fifth movie. So we have, mm -mm. no? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. The fifth movie, so we have two more to try and bang out tomorrow so we can have the entire series done. And yeah, I feel like the further along they go, like the harder they are to like follow and I just I start getting so confused because they like mess with timelines and like mm -hmm. but they're so good are you tired yes yeah <laughs> all right well we're gonna go to bed I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and like it if you did and I will see you guys tomorrow good night good night mm -hmm.